Welcome back to the Dad Days. I'm Josh. I'm a stay-at-home dad that's making content for more than dads. Today I'm going to be making Irish soda bread just in time for St. Patty's Day. Let's get into it. We are going to start with four cups of flour. Even though I'm only showing two cups in the video, it is a total of four cups and I am using white bread flour that is King Arthur. Then we will be doing one teaspoon of baking powder. Four teaspoons of baking soda and both the baking soda and the baking powder are Bob's Red Mill. I always recommend using the highest quality ingredients that you can afford. Organic flours, Bob's, Bob's Red Mill is always a reputable brand. That was one teaspoon of real salt. I use a fork and I just incorporate the dry ingredients all together. Just quickly mix it up. Right now I'm going to be mixing a quarter cup of honey with a half a stick of softened butter and two eggs. So that's the majority of the wet ingredients. I'm just going to be mixing them all up together and reserving them to add after I add the sourdough starter to the dry ingredients. The recipe calls for one and a half cups of sourdough starter. I know that in this container there is about one and a half cups, so that's why I'm not even measuring. But the recipe calls for one and one half cups of sourdough starter. Again, I use my fork and I cut this. I cut the sourdough starter in similarly to as if you were making a pie crust and you were cutting in butter to flour. I just incorporate it until it's mixed in so it looks a little crumbly or craggly. And then I add my wet ingredients after that and just incorporate everything into a shaggy mess.
once you have this consistency, that's when I add the raisins to my soda bread. I'm going to be using one heaping cup of raisins and just mixing them in before I add milk. When I get to the milk part, I just add a little bit of milk at a time and slowly incorporate it each time. We're looking for a dough that is just wet enough to come together, but it barely sticks to your hands. It's a pretty dense dough, so you're able to mold it and shape it into a ball and it doesn't really stick to your hands. So you're going for just wet enough to be able to do that, but not too wet. Once you've added just enough milk to get it to the point where you're able to form a dough ball and it's just barely sticking to your hands, that's exactly where you want it. You want to wrap it in plastic wrap, pop it in the fridge overnight and let it cold ferment for 10 to 12 hours. And then the next morning is when you're going to put it in a Dutch oven and bake it. Good morning. It's been roughly 10 to 12 hours. I've had my sourdough Irish soda bread cold fermenting in the fridge overnight. I'm just going to pop it in the Dutch oven. It bakes at roughly 350 for about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. So I'll change angles and I'll show you what that looks like. Once your dough's in the Dutch oven, you just lightly dust it with flour and then you score it with your lame, any shape will do. You pop it in the oven, you bake it for an hour with the lid on. At, after an hour, you take the lid off and you do the last 10 minutes without the lid and it's at 350 degrees. The color and flavor of this loaf is always great. It's absolutely delicious. I highly recommend it. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna try it, if you like Irish soda bread, if you have any questions. And as always, stay tuned for more Dad Days.